Hello guys, welcome back to a new video with La Valeur Absolue. Donc, اليوم إن شاء الله بش نحكي على the future tense in English. So before guys beginning with uh, starting with this video, don't forget to subscribe, like our video, share it with your friends and in your uh, Facebook page or any other page that you have. So let's start. So the future tense is a verb tense used for a future activity or a future state of being. What do we mean by a future activity or a future state of being? So here I gave you some examples to explain this further. I will jump in the lake. This is a future activity because it has a jump. Donc, كيف نحكيو على future activity معناه action, jump ولا la dance ou la move. Donc, uh, it's really different from the state of being because in a state of being we have to express emotions or sensations. For example, here I will be happy. Okay. Uh, so, I will be happy. This is uh, a state of being because it expresses emotion or sensation here as we have happy and as you can see. So, let's move to the next. There are actually four types of the future. Each type has its own significance. Simple future tense, future progressive tense, future perfect tense, and future perfect progressive tense. These kind of tenses, the third and the fourth, are less used than the first ones. The uh, number three and four are literally used with um, with literary people in literature. Donc, uh, the future perfect tense will future perfect progressive tense. هما أقل use أقل استعمال من simple future tense will future progressive tense. ختم نورمال مو هذه يخص أكثر جماعة الليترature واللي يكتب في نافلز وإلا أشعار دونك احنا باش نتعديو عليهم لهنا باش نشوفوا شنو هو الوظيفة متاعهم وكيفاش يخدموا بالضبط دونك جوست حاشتنا باش نفهموهم شوية شوية فيش كيف نتعرضوا لهم ما نقولوش هادو ما شفناهم شو ما نعرفوهم الجملة وحاشتنا جوست بالسمبل فيتشر تانس بالفيتشر فرقراسي تانس they are too simple عندهم مشاك مشاك تو عندو um, and we use معينة and we use expression معينة so we don't have to use the past or the past perfect or the present perfect in a lot of details so this is very small and you can understand it like this let's begin with the first uh, future tense now the simple future tense is used for an action that will occur in the future Usually, a planification in the future. So, we are going to use a simple future tense to talk about an action in the future, which is later on. Okay? Now, examples. Here, I will go. We will celebrate our anniversary by flying to New York. To New York, I'm sorry. So, guys, as you can see, after well, we always have a verb which is not conjugated. And here I gave you a remark. Verbs are not to be conjugated after well. So they say in their bare infinitive form. Okay. Now, we move to the next type, which is the future progressive tense. The future progressive tense is used for an ongoing action that will occur in the future. Donc, qui m'a je m'a dit, mais nous le progressive tense, parce que nous avons une action, et nous avons une durée de temps, tu es la chouette. ديما البروغريسيف كيل سوا في البريزون والا في الباسي والا في الفيتور نستعملو باش نحكيو على اون اكسيون اللي تاخو وقت ولهنا اكيد لاكسيون تاعنا باش تاخو وقت اما في الفيتور اكزامبل اي ويل بي جوين ذا موسكو ستيت سيركس ويل بي بيرفورمين ان شيلتنهام فور ذا نيكست 3 ويكس اند از يو كان سي ذا اكت اوف جوين اور بيرفورمين كان تيك ا لونج تايم اوكي كان تيك ا فيري سبيسيفيك تايم now we will move on to the next one to explain it further. So, uh, so guys, before moving on, I want just to uh, make you take or attract your focus into the form of the future progressive. So here you have will plus be plus the verb with the ing form will be performing. Okay, so please be careful, guys, with the. Uh, uh, with the form of the uh, future progressive tense, I will be going. Will plus be plus the verb which is go with the ing form. This is the present participle. Going 
any verb that ends with ing, we say it's a present participle verb. Now we'll be heading for the next page. Moving to the third type, future perfect tense. The future perfect tense is used to describe an action that will have been completed at some point in the future. Donc, nous sommes le future perfect tense. Bish nakiu ala une action bdet fil futur, ou bish tikmel fil futur. Donc, an da durée de temps qsira, ou bish tikmel fiha directement. Yani, na arfu, le wakt li bish tikmel fi, en yel bdlop. Examples here. I will have gone. I will have gone. This is to show you the form of the uh, future perfect tense. Will plus have plus past participle verb. Okay, so will plus have plus past participle verb. By the time you arrive, we will have finished the meal and the speeches. By the time you arrive, we will have finished the meal and the speeches. And then have a faster come further this example. For example, we are in a wedding or in a party, waiting for someone to come, waiting for someone to arrive. We call him on the mobile phone. We say, uh, by the time you arrive, we will have finished the meal and the speeches. So the person who is going to arrive, we are going to tell him that the moment you come, the moment you are here, the moment you arrive, we will have finished the meal, al-wa'lima, and the speeches, wal-ahadith. Donc, ritu l'hena n'achkiu ala ton précis fil futur, ili bishi sir, bishi bda fil futur, ou bishi yufa fil futur, wakti li tsir fi haja okhra, bish ma'aneha. Donc, huwa, al-meal with speeches, wakti ish bishi yufayu, wakti ili bishi kun, wakti shakhsa deka li nantadru, bishi ji deja, ok? I hope I really explained this well for you. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to leave your comments below this video or send us your messages and questions in our Facebook page. Okay, guys? So, let's move on now to the next one. So, finally, the last type, which is future perfect progressive tense. The future perfect progressive tense is used for an ongoing action that will be completed at some specified time in the future. So as I was saying, when the progressive we use for the present or in the past or in the future, we can talk about an action that will take time. It will take a little bit. It may be from the hour to the hour, to the hour, to the hour, to the hour. I don't know, but it will take a little bit. This is the way we use the ING form. Ulehne, I gave examples. I will have been going in July next year. You will have been studying for three years. Be careful, guys, with the form. Okay? So you have will plus have plus been. And please, guys, be careful. It's been, not been, because when we say been, we'll be referring to Mr. Bean, as you can see. Isn't it? Now, we say been. Study, study, here's the verb, and we add ing. This is the present participle verb. It's a present participle. Any verb that ends with ing, it's a present participle verb. Okay? Now, uh, I don't want you to focus a lot on these last two types of a future perfect progressive, please, guys. They are not very important in your studies. Uh, I want you just to focus on the first and the second one. Uh, they are very important. You're going to use them in your exams or in your writings or whatever. Um, so, take it easy. It's too simple. You have two major types. One that goes with will go or will study. I will go. I will study. I will drink. I will uh, be happy. And the next one or the second one is the ING form. I will be going to uh, Italy next month, I will be going, I will be heading, I will be uh, smiling at you, I will be dancing next month, I will be, okay? So don't worry, they are too simple. Now, these are some examples that will help you with the simple future tense. And as you can see, the form with the, of the, uh, the simple future tense, it's will plus the base form of the verb. I will play after breakfast. Susan will not go to Germany. What we achieve inwardly will change out to reality. This is a parole or a speech 
or a saying by Greek biographer Plutarch, always do your best. What you plant now, you will harvest later. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. This is a saying from the physicist uh, Albert Einstein. Women and cats will do as they please. And men and dogs should relax and get used to the idea. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemy, but the silence of our friends. I really like this parallel. It's for the activist Martin Luther King uh, Jr. Uh, it's, it has been said in the uh, war, in the Great War, I think. So this is in America. Choose a job you love. You will never have to work a day in your life. This is a Chinese philosopher, Confucius. Uh, thing. Now, these are examples of the future progressive tense will be plus present participle. Of course, as I said, this is a present participle verb. Spending, laughing, fighting, hanging, okay? Playing, any verb that ends with the ing. I will be playing for an hour. Will I be spending too much money if I buy the newer model? He will be fighting his way to the boxing championship. Always be nice to those younger than you because they are the ones who will be writing about you. In September, we will be enjoying all the fruit we planted last month. Now, as you can see, guys, we have finished our video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. I wish you a very, very, very nice uh, listening to this video. Please, if you ever have any questions, or any further explanation, don't hesitate to leave comments below this video or to ask us or to send us your messages via uh, our Facebook page, La Valeur Absolue. We'll be very pleased and we'll be very happy to answer all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, share it with your friends, and see you next time. Goodbye.